they're trying to start a rumor. It's disinformation. That's the only thing they're good at. That Putin wants to make sure I get elected. Listen to this. So, doesn't he want to see who the Democrats going to be? Wouldn't he rather have, let's say, Bernie? Wouldn't he rather have Bernie, who honeymooned in Moscow? That's the president at a Friday rally in Las Vegas, claiming that reports of Russia interfering in his favor was Democratic disinformation. When we were in Las Vegas Saturday, I spoke with the White House National Security Advisor, Robert O'Brien, who was in our Washington studio. I asked him if he had assured the president that this particular U.S. intelligence finding was real. He strongly disputed it. Well, I have not seen the finding. I think what he's referring to and what folks are talking about is a briefing that took place last week at the House Intelligence Committee uh, that was leaked to the press. And, and I have not seen that report. I get this secondhand, uh, but from Republican co uh, congressmen that were in the committee, there was no intelligence behind it. I haven't seen any intelligence to support the reports that were leaked out of the House. But the White House was briefed on February 14th. Were you not in that briefing when the president was informed? Well, there's no briefing that I've received, that the president's received, uh, that says that President Putin is doing anything to try and influence the elections in favor of President Trump. We just haven't seen that intelligence. Uh, if it's out there, I haven't seen it. I'd be surprised if I haven't seen it. The leaders of, our, uh, of the IC have not seen it. So, I, I, again, I don't know where this is coming from. I've heard these rumors and these leaks from uh, Adam Schiff's committee, but I, I have not seen them myself, and I've seen no intelligence along those lines. But just to clarify, are you saying that Joseph McGuire, the former acting director of national intelligence, did not inform you about the U.S. intelligence committee's community's findings? No, I, look, I think, you know, and again, I, I don't want to get into to, to private conversations in a, in a presidential daily brief, but I, I don't think uh, uh, Admiral McGuire was necessarily informed of what was going to happen at that hearing in the House either. And, and, and again, there's nothing that he's given us, no information Admiral McGuire gave us, Gina Haspel's given us, Director Haspel, uh, Ambassador Grinnell, the new acting DNI, that comports with what was leaked out of that House uh, Intel Committee. So I, I haven't seen it. Uh, the leaders of the, of the intelligence community that I've spoken with uh, haven't seen anything that comports with what was leaked out. But again, those leaks, I, I don't know if that's what the briefers told uh, the House Committee. I but, mean, those were just simply well. That, that's contradicted by reports that the Director of National Intelligence, McGuire, did brief White House officials. But more broadly, the FBI Director at the beginning of the month, Chris Ray, testified that Russia continues to try to influence the elections, mainly through social media manipulation. So this pattern of behavior has continued. Russia is undeterred. Are you denying? That that is happening. No, no. What I, look, I, what I've heard from the FBI, you know, uh, well, what, what I've heard is that uh, that Russia would like Bernie Sanders to to win the Democrat nomination. They'd probably like him to be president, uh, understandably, because he wants to to spend money on social programs and probably would have to take it out of the military. So that would make sense. Uh, and, and look, the Russians have always tried to interfere with elections because they want to divide Americans. They want to undermine our democracy. But the idea that they want to they want to influence the election and somehow cause the president to win, I just don't see it. But look, I think there are a number of countries, China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, uh, that would like to influence our elections to, to get the candidate that they feel would be best for their country. So you are saying that it is not, in fact, the U.S. intelligence community's assessment that Russia has a preference for President Trump? Uh, I, I have not seen that. And, uh, and again, why would they have a preference for President Trump, who's rebuilding our military, who's giving the Ukrainians lethal aid to fight Russian troops? Uh, so that doesn't make sense. Now, look, we want good relations with Russia. Uh, we'd like to have great relations with Russia. I haven't seen any intelligence that there's any active measures by the Russians to try and get the president reelected. And, and we've got a simple message for the Russians or any other country that wants to, to, to meddle in our elections. Whoever they're behind, stay out of our democratic elections. And, and we're doing everything we can. We're working with state and local officials. We're going, in many cases, but to paper ballots uh, to make sure that, that you know, governments with ill intent uh, can't hack Secretary of State websites, can't get involved in our elections, change results. And, and we're going to work on election security very, very hard through across the interagency and the federal government and also with our state and, and local partners. Why not have the intelligence community testify in public about what they are seeing so that the public can arm themselves so that they can understand what is disinformation and what is fact? Look, look, Why not I, declassify some of this? I, I, I'd have no problem with that, and, and but that's not my decision. And 
the intelligence community is, is very concerned and, and careful about sources and methods, and I understand that. But I, I, I would personally have no problem but back with... In 20, back in 2016, in October of 2016, when Russia was doing this uh, disinformation campaign, uh, the Obama administration did declassify information at that time. So there is a precedent. Why doesn't the Trump administration do that? I done? think if there's intelligence that we can declassify, that, uh, that we can get out there, all the better, because, uh, I, I, again... We weren't in office in 2016 when, when the, the last election meddling took place and the administration did very little about it. And, and, they, and they, it, you know, everyone admits that, that very little was done about it. We're in office now and we're doing everything we can across the interagency and, and with our state and federal and local partners to, to ensure that, that American ballots are secure, that, that our, our ballot machines are secure, that tabulations are secure. That, that st Secretary of State websites are secure. We want to make sure that this is a free and fair election, that Americans select their next president, not some foreign country. And, and, and we're going to do it. And the president's been deadly serious about that. I, I want to quickly ask you, though, about Afghanistan. Um, if the Taliban does not make good on its promise uh, to pull back on violence, to sign this deal at the end of the month, is the president positioned to stop the troop withdrawal? The president made it very clear the last time we were close to signing a deal with the Taliban, and they, they engaged in some malign activity. They, they had a vehicle-borne IED that killed a number of people, including one American, and the president pulled back from signing the deal. We're hopeful that, that we can get to a, a place where the Afghans can talk with each other and negotiate some sort of resolution, a political resolution of the conflict. We've been there 19 years. Uh, it's time for us to stop bringing our, our sons and daughters home through Dover Air Force Base and dignified transfers. Uh, we've got to get out of, uh, of the war in Afghanistan, but we're going to do it in a way that protects American interest. So if the Taliban does not live up to their agreement on the reduction of violence plan, uh, then we'll take a very care careful look at it. I think it would be unlikely that we'd, we'd sign a peace treaty. But we're not going to reduce troops to a level below what is necessary to protect American interests and our partners uh, in Afghanistan. I can assure you of that. All right. Ambassador O'Brien, thank you for joining us. Always great to be here, Margaret. The Trump-appointed official overseeing U.S. election security, Shelby Pearson, reported to Congress that Russia was interfering in the election and has shown a preference for President Trump. But sources tell our Major Garrett there was bipartisan pushback on her assertions and questions about the strength of the evidence. Congress has requested to see the underlying intelligence to back up that assessment, which, as you heard, the National Security Advisor said he had not seen. CBS stands by Major's reporting that the president was told Russia was trying to help him win.